I am here. I'm alive, and I am doing something. Oh yeah, we'll me too. This <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how long this something lasts for, but I'm doing something. Doing something. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ain't like we've been sitting in a chat for the last few hours. I mean, last few minutes talking anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how was your week? Uh, how's your week been? It's been good. Um, we got a lot to talk about over these last oh, few weeks. Yeah. Yes, you, we do. We got to talk about everything that's been going on. I know there's been a lot going on in my life. I can only imagine what's been going on in your hectic life over there. So, I mean, I think best we start with you. Uh, wrapping up to, well, wrapping up Cattle Ranch, um, came to the conclusion that I, I'm not enjoying it anymore. And it was starting to show in the uh, quality of the videos. So did did like a poll did questions like a call to action in some videos and got pretty good feedback from the audience i appreciate everyone that responded to that and the majority of the people were just like if you're not enjoying it move on it was a great series time to move on so i'm wrapping that up uh i got a nice twist to whiskey rp coming out tomorrow which i'm excited about which i, I don't really want to talk too much about because I was about to say, I've, I I know there's a great twist in the uh, next Family RP that's coming up Friday. That's uh, true. <laughs> yeah, and then for everybody who's been sad that I haven't been in those, I was I was I didn't record it, but I'm in the finale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll share the finale. Yeah, he's in it. He is, he is kind of in it. He, he's a great person, and we couldn't help but have him in it. And it made yeah. sense for the storyline too. It was nice. It was awesome. It was a great little recording session too yeah yeah i think that that was honestly my favorite episode we recorded that entire series the entire series yeah that's it a lot was of... really good i think it beat out the last of i think it beat out season one and then in my opinion season one ending was chaotic it was chaotic but it, the way the editor came about it it came out so well it came out good, but the recordings we're talking about the recording sessions. <laughs> that was that that one was chaotic. Yeah, but that usually was, the chaotic ones are usually end up being your best. Yeah, there's there was some there was some raw emotion and confusion. And, and yeah, that was that was an interesting recording. Um, what else is going on? Oh, we can talk about that later. Multiplayer stuff. Um, but then I, yeah, you guys, you and Alex wrapped up a farm rescue series and I started my next season and it was, and that was kind of part of the wrapping up cattle ranch was what am I going to do next? And I wanted to bring that back and it is super refreshing because it's like you question when you play one game and make content for one game, you're like, am I just getting burnt out? And yeah. And then then you start a new series and you realize that there is a little burnout, but also like a fresh start rejuvenates you. Oh, most definitely. I mean, that's what like the whole idea with his ser with that series is with my version of Farm Rescue is short series. I'm on I'll probably end up doing like one or two more, but I want to do it with like new people that I meet and or old people. But you know what I mean? Like always just keep like three or four episodes per person and just move on to the next person that needs help. Yeah, and so my and I don't I don't know how much you followed it, but my my format was two years and I'm trying to just do episodes of like one episode is planting season and one episode is harvest season. And so it could be four episodes, but then stretch it out to like five. This new one I'm gonna try to do about I want so this is something interesting it's not on our list but this is a question I've been meaning to ask you and let's just ask you on the podcast we started and we kind of have this formula for our long running series of 20 mm -hmm. episodes and then a mega cut I'm starting to think is 20 too much so if you do two episodes a week in in this day and age with all of our attention span like YouTube shorts are huge TikTok shorts yep. uh, are, this long form of content that we make isn't as popular as it once was, or you can argue it's as more popular than it's ever been, but there's other things that pull people's attention away so quick that is 10 weeks too long. So this is the way I view it. So especially when I would make, uh, when I make like eight minute videos, is you want a really long mega cut. So ain't really nothing bad with that. 
but also you gotta look at it like this it also depends on what kind of series is it do you run uh, we're like no man's land we all know how i kind of run it where i can get multiple crops off in the same year right yeah you need a time limit but if you're doing a series that's based around more like realistic farming where you're only going to get one crop off per year you're, you're rough for there it's all depending on what you can possibly get off and what you can do um i know with alex we honestly did harvest cultivation planting and then harvest again on his last episode so we we did it kind of one episode be like per stage which yep if you remember me last night talking about the uh what's it called stages about yep. stuff that's mm -hmm. where it came from because i realized that's a better method to do than just say oh this many episodes but with like fan rp for example i think it's a better idea by the way thank you for the happy birthdays <laughs> yeah uh i think and i and i think that's where we're we're starting to see are we like touching different genres like there's the let's play genre and then there's the extreme rp that family rp is and then there's kind of this hybrid that I've been somewhat stumbling upon with Cattle Ranch of enough RP to make it not just a let's play, but then it's real easy to get stuck in the, well, I can't skip months. I got to show everything and figuring out, I mean, we're talking about the last two weeks when we, when we haven't been recording or doing this right now, we've been talking about our view dip, our yeah. decrease in, in views. <laughs> And so that's why all this is top of mind for me is how do I not become stale and how do you, like how are, how do we not become stale and are we changing things up enough are we changing things up too much are is there too many series like all these questions go into your head when you when you see like an average of 8000 views per video drop to 4000 or drop to 2500 and granted never going to complain about getting 2500 views but trying to do this full time eventually you do think about those things and it, it, it hurts the ego a little bit. It makes you question if you're doing the right things. What did you do differently in those other videos or is it just too much of the same? Well, exactly the same here. I mean, you will sit here for as much as you can and scratch your head and say, okay, what can I do to approve the next series? Um, I think right now there's a series that I think everybody kind of saw my last episode of Quest and I got kicked out of the farm with yosho oh <laughs> yeah yosho kicked me out of farm so stuff like that and that's how we actually ended the episode so if you want to see that you have to watch out they'll have to watch the show episodes um but the way we went about him kicking me out everything like that in the following up episodes is going to be interesting to see how people react to it because it's something i've never done before with this type of stuff mm, i'll have to check it out when we first ended season one of, of family rp every single comment not every single comment, but every single video had multiple comments. When's it coming back? When's it coming back? On my side, it came back, but the views didn't. So it's like, okay, we listen. Like, and it's this ever, this constant battle of do you listen to comments? How much do you actually take it into account for your de your decisions you make? Because you don't want to ignore the, the community, but at the same time, it's a balancing act of I don't know. Do you know what I'm trying to say? trying to flirt the lines of i'm not complaining about the community i love the community but sometimes you just can't take people for their word well yeah that's yeah the issue we all deal with we can take it back to if you really want to sit here and talk about that i mean we can go all the way back to uh what was that series called bro v bro yep do you know to this day i still get comments asking can bro v bro come back yeah, and I was getting like 200 views per video on that. <laughs> I was going to say, you were getting 200 views. And yeah. I think I was getting an average of 11,000 views per yep. video with that, which was mind-boggling to me. It just comes down to what all people want to see from our specific channels. I do yeah. think with some things that we've all talked about here recently, I do think we have a really good chance to fix it. I do too, and I'm like itching to get to that topic, but I know we gotta we want to talk about some other things first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, did we did we go into into your last two weeks, or was that mostly mine? No, we kind of did both. Well, no, no, no. I mean, I might have been completely different. You yeah, remember? That's true. Yeah, that's so. true. So yeah, yeah. Mine's <laughs> been wrapping wrapping up a series, finishing those recordings, um, prepping for a couple supercuts that are coming out and then prepping for what we'll talk about in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right, Nate, 
on to yours. <laughs> what has your two weeks been? Phenomenal. I really couldn't ask for a better two weeks. Um, well, the first week, I could ask for a little bit easier of a week, but it is what it is. I recorded, I think it was, it ended up being 13 videos all in one week. 13? Yeah, I ended up having to record 13 videos in one week. Um, so for your channel, that's two weeks worth of videos? Yes. Yeah. No, I recorded more than that. No, I recorded 16 videos because there's also videos that are going out on the second channel. Um, I even decided to get a little bit ahead on the second channel as well as the main channel. That's smart. Well, yeah, I mean, I want to go. Ahead. I want to eventually get that second channel monetized. So I, get, I did that the first week. So I did nothing but just work, really try to focus on the quality and how good we did it. But I know quality wasn't going to be as good because we're not spending one day at a time working on it. I knew that was going to be an issue, but it's not been an issue like I thought it was going to be. Thank God. That's good. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that is a stressful thing. Like if you get behind and you try to catch up and you, you record two or three episodes of different things in the same day. And you it's worry like worry that you're hurting yourself. You're rushing. You're rush. Are you rushing? Are you actually like, how's the voice acting? Is it good enough when it comes to like, so you don't get the um, cringe at yourself moments since you have an editor. I, <laughs> I have the cringe at myself and then look at the clock and decide, do I rec do I do some voiceovers here or do I just roll with it and cut some extra things out that I didn't want to or Oh, and one of the one of the things I'm stealing a little bit of your time here, but one of the things was I record in the mornings a lot and I've noticed a huge difference in the way the videos turn out because of my energy level when I first wake up. So like rushing sucks. So doing 16 in a week. Whew. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't lie. Most of those videos were with other people and I want to everybody that I made videos with the last few weeks over that week. I huge thank you for putting up with me because I think everybody saw how stressed out I was. Like even you saw in the family RP we recorded that week, how stressed out I was during that. Oh, for sure. It was because you just never know how something like that's gonna work out and you just worry a whole lot about that. So we got through that week. After, I think I had everything done by Tuesday. So Tuesday I was able to relax and just prepare for wednesday wednesday i woke up at five o'clock in the morning and went on hit the road instantly so i drove from georgia to south to north carolina my bad and i went to go see a popular uh, youtuber named dj goham yeah spent, some some people might know who he is yeah yeah just very uh, few people. couple people might yeah <laughs> <laughs> just few, very few but and also while i was there i was also able to meet my representative from g portal by the way links are in the description below i was able to meet him finally and have a good conversation with him and talk to him about what the futures of my channel is going to like and what he would suggest uh because he's seen a thing or two with sponsoring a lot of channels like mine and like yours and so we did that oh we hung out we did some a lot of different things we watched some movies uh, went to a steak dinner and had really a lot of fun uh for the first three days steak sounds amazing oh dude it was the best steak i've ever had like it didn't need no it did not need a steak sauce nothing it was perfect as as it was oh my i personally Lord. don't like eating steak if it requires steak sauce well see i'm a person like i have issues with dryness um mm. if it's too dry like i will put it on there even if the steak does taste that good yeah it shouldn't but be this, dry either in my opinion well we all know how there are some of those places that do them dry or by if you you're not paying attention you're trying to read emails <laughs> while you're while you're barbecuing yourself <laughs> yeah while, while you're grilling your steaks over there you're reading yeah, emails yeah. when I mean, we've all done it or reading text messages from other people that you're trying to plan stuff with so it's, it's next thing you know you got a hockey puck pretty much and then you're realizing you spent 20 30 dollars on that steak you still gonna eat that steak <laughs> not happily but you still gonna eat it uh, all right but and a little a1 good. or whatever your choice is a steak sauce gets added to it at that point yeah exactly but it was a really good steak overall it phenomenal it was a really good time went from there instantly went to ohio met up with my best friend and my original editor dear i actually got to meet my original editor dear for the first time in real life got to take her out for dinner and her brother 
because I mean, without her, I wouldn't be in this position. And Explain that. Most, so Deer, when I first started YouTube, of course, I didn't have no money and she was a long time friend of mine and she offered because she wanted to know more about editing. So she offered to do editing for me for free for the experience, which when you first start YouTube and you have that opportunity, you're going to take it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when yep. you first started, I guarantee someone, if someone said that, you let, I'll give you a shot. Yep. And especially with her being able to do a better job than I could do myself, I couldn't complain. The, the, the pure f I, topic of the editor is not going to have the same biases you have towards yourself. Mm -hmm. and are going to see flaws that you don't see in yourself in certain things and will edit them out. That's the big thing that that's the only reason why I would want an editor. I'm, I'm a control freak, but that part of it is very intriguing to me. Yeah, well, that's what I was at with that point. And so what I did is I had her on the team. She were she helped me out by doing videos for me about two or three months. And then she decided the editing was not for her, which I would understand. She likes now. I think she switched her to mechanic is what we were talking about. So she's now a mechanic. Yeah, that's a little different. <laughs> Just a little bit, not much. Yeah. But she decided she wants to switch to mechanic, which all great to her. She's actually in classes for it, and that's is actually awesome. doing a really good job with it. And I'm really proud of everything she's able to do. But technically, without what, the work she put in when I first started. I wouldn't have got that as initial subscribers or I wouldn't have got where I'm at at this point. I would probably be a lot further behind. I wouldn't have been able to meet Isaac like I did. Yeah, it's a whole lot of fun. So I had to, while I was up there in Ohio, at least go and take him out for dinner and show my appreciation because I don't think I ever even paid her for the work she did because she was always sterile during that point where we never got paid. Was that, did you drive to Ohio too? Yeah, I drove to Ohio. That's quite a adventure you were on. Well, I mean, when you go get yourself a truck, I mean, I went and I have a nice, good truck out there. Like, you're going to use it. I'd rather use that truck out there every now and then for long trips like that than to take a plane. I learned real quickly, West Virginia is not a place you want to drive through. Um, beautiful country, don't get me wrong. Like, beautiful, beautiful all the way. But... It is not fun to drive through. Like, it, I'll, have you ever played F1 games? Yes. It felt like I was driving an F1 car with how fast, with how fast slash how fast, how hard the turns were as well. That sounds you're, fun to me. You're going 70 miles an hour, taking hard rights and hard lefts, and you're in wall-to-wall -wall traffic where people are right beside you, behind you, and in front of you, and you're one wrong. Yeah, no, it was not as fun as you think. Were it you be. on Route 19? I don't remember what I was on. Josh, this Josh Bennett says that Route 19 sucks in West Virginia. I think it was. I, 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 I'm pretty sure it may have been Route 19. I'm not 100% sure. I was following the GPS all the way. Yeah, that's funny because like years and years ago when I was first driving, there wasn't GPS. Um, <laughs> and so you, you knew where you, you knew what roads you were on. And now like even this, I've been in this town that I live in now for almost two years and I still don't know some of the road names because I just know how to get around. <laughs> yeah. Like, so that's one thing is I know how to get around. I don't know half the road names. Yeah. And that also shows like how different it is, like where we grew up. Yep. So yeah, it's just the fun things we get to deal with. But uh, it was a very fun trip. Also got to come back, and funny enough, DJ's house was right between my home and like in the exact middle, six hours apart from my home and Ohio. So what I oh, did is okay. I went, went, I went from Ohio directly back to uh, DJ's house, spent another night with him, recorded with Grant at DJ's house, which that's a whole nother discussion. The amount of computers this man has in his house, I am jealous. <laughs> like you know you gotta have a good amount of computers or something like that when you just have one for other youtubers when they come by and it's a it was a better spec out computer than my own that's pretty awesome yeah it was phenomenal yeah, i loved his hospitality great guy all the way around i was say that just speaks volumes for the type of person he is yes and that's i got to see a lot of, i got to see a side of him no one got to see him before and he's a phenomenal guy through and through he is a lot like you would ex you would expect him to be you his his persona don't really change from when you, what you see on camera is what you meet in real life no act 
Yeah, there's not an act to it, and most people, there is an act. And I hate to say that, but we, I've met people, you've most likely met a couple of people that there is an act, but not him. And I was really and thoroughly surprised. Oh, yeah. Over the years of, of streaming and doing City Skylines, and yeah, yeah absolutely. And it, it drives me nuts. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I get why people do that, but I don't, I don't like it. No, so neither do I. It's very refreshing to hear that DJ is who he says he is. Exactly. And that's, that, that's a good thing for him is he's that kind of person. He's not out here being fake. And in a world where you don't know who's real, it's good to see people out there actually living their life and living in a good way. So it was, it was nice. And then having the conversations I did, that man, I've done, I actually asked him to do something that I've never asked anybody to do before. I actually asked him to go through and critique my videos. And he in front actually, of you? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> He actually did it, and he actually taught me. He actually, the when he pointed them out, like that's something that I would recommend if you're a small content creator, do that. Go get somebody that's been doing it for a little bit to sit down and critique your videos and how they're being edited and how they're being portrayed to somebody, because you yourself may look at it and say that's a great video, but it may not just apply because you're because you're solo mm -hmm. perspective and you're also saying i made this this you're trying to be proud about what you do no matter what comes out you also need it doesn't hurt to have somebody look at it and say eh, you need to really rethink what you're doing yeah and, and, and a, something very similar to that is music and you when you write your own music and you're in a band like we talked about in, in my past mm -hmm. you, you you have these uh you know writing sessions and in, in practice where you're learning the new song you're writing the song and everyone's getting used to it and you think it's the most amazing thing in the world and then you go on stage in front of people <laughs> and that's yeah. when you really and it's it won't and sometimes it doesn't even matter their reaction you actually you, your brain has a different wavelength all of a sudden where okay i'm not in the practice studio i'm on a stage and now i know whether or not this is a good song or better than our last ones type of thing it's it's it there's a lot of uh parallels to making making content and making music Oh yeah, most definitely. But that was one thing that the, that was the best thing I think he did for me that entire trip was critique the videos, and I think that's gonna help me change a lot of things about my content. That's gonna make me a lot better for the future and going forward, and should affect the channel hopefully a lot. What I learned because seeing it through somebody else's eyes and being able to actually hear criticism like that was really eye opening. But also knowing it's coming from someone who actually, like we've all dealt with the trolls or something like that. So it's hard to differ the trolls from everything else. Something interesting happened in your Discord. Do you want to talk about that on this? <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about it. Okay. So I had my first ever person decide they want to impersonate me. It was hilarious. This guy decided he wanted to impersonate me. And basically, he DM'd, I think, Happy, Emily, and a couple other people that I work very closely with to make sure my community and my and with videos. And he DM'd was saying, oh, I'm the real Nate. And me being in a chat that I wasn't the real Nate, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen yeah, in my life. So DMing somebody that's worked with you for like seven, eight months now and is basically like shares admin responsibilities on multiplayer servers and there's no doubt that we know who the real nate is and that happy knows who the real nate is yeah like <laughs> i'm disappointed that the troll wasn't intelligent enough to realize who happy was like how well, bad of a troll are you well also he did it when i was in the middle of a stream yeah <laughs> Like, that was the part that really got me is he did it when I was in the middle of a stream, physically in a VC with Happy, talking to Happy. And he was telling Happy, oh, that's not the real Nate. And even though I was live on my channel, it was like, like Emily said, a smart guy, 10 out of 10. Well, I mean, <laughs> apparently Fearsome Rhino is not really Nate. Someone else is really Nate. Maybe that's what he was getting at. Yeah, apparently. Because that's the only thing that would make sense in any of that scenario. It's just, is it was it flattering at all? Was, yeah, a little bit, but it wasn't also the same point because it's like, come on. Like, was he just kidding around? That's something I thought about because, or is it one of those situations where 
it wasn't a kid that actually thought he was me because it that is a mental ill illness that people have where they think there's somebody else so well yeah and it's it, that, and that's a tough topic but it, that's also something where unfortunately the only result that we can have is ban yep and we just we just have to move on exactly and that's something that we just have to do i mean I, I tried not to think about it too much after it happened. I laughed at it a little bit and said, okay, apparently I'm at the point where people want to be, like, do what I do. And yeah, then I was, and that same week, I had someone join whose name was Austin Farmer YT in my Discord. And in my um, channel for uh, that I uh, allow people to, you know, share their own content, <laughs> shared some of Austin's videos yeah and i'm like this isn't this isn't austin no and so i i I was looking at it like i recorded at night and then i was looking at it before i went to bed and i was like i should just ban this person right now and then the next day there was some arguments that again happy was involved in uh and and eventually the person left on their own before i even saw what was going on but this it was like troll week oh yeah apparently well here's my question is what about happy makes people want to argue with happy that's the real question yeah i don't know what it is about happy people just want to argue with him real fast i don't know either but he's doing a good job of uh calling people out yeah he's doing a great job i mean but happy here's the funny thing is if you're being 100 percent serious he's a great guy oh yeah if you're not trying to fool people and say oh you're somebody you're not and you're being a genuine person he's a great guy to be around I mean, me and him was talking about that the other day when right after recording with Grant, I said, do you ever regret joining my Discord server that day? And he said, nope, that was the best decision of my life. (laughs) Well, I mean, that's the thing. The reason why Happy's so aggressive with the trolls is because of how good of a guy he is and how much he cares about all of us. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, he cares about everybody and just how like we care about him. Yep we care about everybody here in this group we've done a really amazing job showing that for one another we try our best to stick out our neck for everybody and make sure that none of us are having to deal with hardships like that and he's done a really good job about making sure people don't, we don't deal with that we should have said this at the very beginning but if you have questions that you'd like us to answer in this podcast ask them away i do have two questions right now nate you go for it. uh admin moderators if y'all seen any please refresh them because i mentioned it at the beginning of my stream so moderators if you could refresh them like copy and paste them in or the m one to chris or myself that'd be appreciated first one real quick from charles uh chris what what's happy up to uh i don't know happy had something else going on because we we're also talking today about trying to figure out when we're ever going to be able to get back on the 60s server and he mentioned that he had some stuff going on tonight so we won't we probably won't see any comments from happy in either stream tonight um can you ask nate what happened to the this to the server and why it's down i'm guessing your community server it's up it's running it should be i hope oh it was down before okay yeah yeah it was down before so yeah I don't know. It, it goes down every now and then. Uh, probably maintenance from G Portal. G Portal has been doing a lot of maintenance. They're, they've had an issue here recently that they're trying to fix as fast as they possibly can, but they're also keeping the servers online while they're doing that. And you, as a developer, you most likely know how much of a headache that's pro- probably been for them. Well, and it, there's an extra layer there that I think a lot of us, including myself, kind of forget when I talk about G Portal and Giants. Yeah. That. Both of them are independent companies that partner together. You know, G Portal hosts game, other games other than other than Farming Simulator. So they have to, but they have to, you know, do their servers based on the way Giants wrote multiplayer for Farming Simulator, which is going to be completely different for you know Arc or mm-hmm. Rust or something else. And so there's all types of factors. If they're doing maintenance and some patches come out on Linux so that they probably run all of these on, there could be things that cause the game to run a little differently. They could have performance issues. There could be exploits that are on these servers that they're preventing, and that's why they're doing these these maintenance. They won't tell us that. If they're bad enough, they would tell us that. But like we run into that daily where we'll get updates on security patches that we have to do on servers because of exploits. So there's a lot into it, and it's 
sometimes we complain, but it's not an easy job to host games like this or host anything on the internet. There's a lot of people that are good at it. Other Some places are better than others, but you got to give them some grace. And unfortunately, with stuff like that, a community server, if if you're not checking it every day, you're, you're not going to know it's down until you get messages. So I would say, I think Charles asked that. If you didn't when it was down, no one's going to get mad at you for saying in the Discord, hey, the server's down, as long as five other people haven't already said it and then you add to it. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, also, for me, I have several people who control that server. So if I see that message and I see it's like three hours old, sometimes I won't check. I'm not going to complain a whole lot. If I see like a bunch of people saying the server's down, I'm not going to complain. So that just tells me one of the other guys haven't took care of it. So I need to go take care of it personally and we'll take care of it. The multiplayer should be up as of right now. Last time I checked it, when I was looking at the new thing, when I was looking at a new thing, it was working perfectly. Nate, when will you start trucking again? So here's my issue with trucking RP is for that series, it just didn't really do a whole lot of goodness, but it's also a series that is in the background or where if I ever needed a quick video to get it out, Trucking RP will come out. So it comes I'm gonna, down to what I need. Right, and and there's a thing that I, I meant to say, and I was trying to find a way to say it earlier. 2,500 2, views, 4,000 views, a lot. But when you're getting 10,000 views on a certain topic, you're going to start doing that other topic instead of the 4,500 view one. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that we don't appreciate all 4,500 of those people. It's sad for those people that those videos go away. And yep. that kind of leads to another one where, let's see, who asked that? OP, 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 OP. I don't know if it's OP, OP or not. I'm, I apologize. Uh, what happened to Brothers? So I can, and Blake asked Brother, bro, bro v Bros. What happened with Bro v Bros was multiple reasons. Um, they cheated. We didn't cheat. We exploited. Yes, you did. You, okay, cheat, exploit, same thing. Hey, you pick the map. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it existed, okay? There's there, there's a couple things. Number one, I was getting less than a thousand views per, per video when at the same time family, well, family was on a break, but prior to that, family was getting three times that. Cattle Ranch was starting to pick up and Whiskey was doing really good. And I was getting burnt out from my full-time job and recording every single night and not balancing that very well. So a little bit of timing of getting online doing recordings feeling burnt out of because at the time I, we were recording what four four days a week because we had no. no way home going as well did we have i don't think we had no way home going. we out. did did we yeah so that would have been three times a week we had that before that yeah but the but the burnout for me was there and what didn't go away yeah and it was around there was like um fourth of july and some holidays and my daughter doesn't live with us so i only get to see her on certain times and there's a lot that goes on with life that gets mm -hmm. in the way of some of this sometimes well yeah, exactly that's why we ended it like as a group like trust me i was very sad to see that series go away personally yeah because your your view on this and perspective is the opposite exactly i was crying on the inside like, but I did it because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be selfish about myself and say, oh, everybody needs to keep doing this because it's doing great for me. That's not what kind of person I am or what kind of person I want to be. I don't want to be that kind of person that says, oh, you must do it because it's doing great for me. That's not, that's not my personality. I want everybody to be succeeding very well. And Family RP Season 1 was a very indicator of that because I was very proud of what everybody was doing with that series and everybody was doing phenomenal. Yeah, it's too bad one of us didn't post all the videos. Oh, he's not even here to defend himself. That's not fair. Yeah, if I say it's not fair, but it's not fair. He didn't even post he didn't even post one of the second series of the second one. I know. I have no I have no uh, guiltiness on him. So he's um, not here and he probably won't watch this. <laughs> Nate, I was very close to saying happy send me all your freaking footage i will slowly edit those so you get them out i guarantee if you were if he was to do it like i guarantee you and what i told him he needed to do was edit them down just so he can put out a mega cut all just the, the mega cut just the mega cut 
and that's why I kept telling him edit it down slowly or send it to an editor to let them slowly edit it down because you would be a lot better off with either just the mega cut at least you're not wasting your time yeah yep um let's see can I you a, I have a question I've seen in my comments a lot when are we ever going to do no way home into heat is what I keep saying nobody's asking you that in your comments actually yes I have seen that well I don't know whiskey or no oh, 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 i'm not saying that <laughs> that almost came out no, was that funny? <laughs> uh, watch whiskey rp tomorrow yeah I, um no. yeah i don't know i mean we got to get through some of this other stuff we're going to yeah, talk about because yeah. i'm way more excited about that than oh yeah same here uh, there's also i think we need to wait for that map to be fully finished I, where people aren't crashing every 30 seconds aka me yeah We'll get to the other topic, but I kind of wanted to almost bring up like, should that should we have done that? But the idea that Bri came up with, I can't wait for people to see it. I mean, do we want to give rumors or something out of like, because for me, this will be edited down and be going out. So for people who don't know, this will be edited down a little bit and be sent, be posted again, I think next Tuesday. And then next Wednesday, my first episode of that series goes out. No, I absolutely think we need to talk about it and tease it. Absolutely. Exactly. I mean, it's a phenomenal idea we all came up with. And I got to give Bri and I think he said it was a comment. I got to oh, give really? those credit. Yeah. It was yeah. A no, it was. It, it, it makes it um, something that could have. Yeah, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Yeah. <laughs> um, one more question, because I want to hear your response on this. Go for it. Could you ask Nate? Oh, two questions, actually. Number one, can you do an after the recording ends with Grant and Buck? Buck is confirmed. He said he would be on. That's cool. We, I've actually told him I need to talk to him and try to figure out what day, like a day he'd be able to do it. Mm -hmm. um, we may not be able to live stream that one if we, I would We like probably wouldn't want to live stream that one. I don't I know. I kind of would. Like, personally, I kind of would because the questions we would get for Buck would be out the wall. That's true. Like, I think that's one thing I'm enjoying about this live stream so far, like doing the streaming difference. Yeah, I like it we, too. Grant, I don't really see him doing it. I will ask him for everybody, but I don't see him doing it because he is a very, very busy man with everything that he's doing and building his own game and doing all those fun things. Nate, can you do some more American Trucking Simulator? Listen, if more people would like to watch it, I wish but it's just there's not a whole lot of people out there wanting to watch it but i do plan on doing uh yosho has slowly started doing streaming again so if i ever see yosho saying he's going to stream farm uh, american truck sim I, there is no reason in my mind i will not jump in that call and stream american truck sim i started him. uh i actually bought it and did did two missions so far or jobs it's a little addicting ain't it it is and i was like um i need to turn this off because i have like seven videos i need to get done this week <laughs> exactly <laughs> when you start you can't stop hardly it's hard to stop but that's one thing that i'd recommend to you we can get away with streaming on our channels because it's basically rated it's still a blue collar job in mm -hmm. a way yep uh how's first gen farming doing so far i'll answer that one uh so you may not know what first gen farming is that's uh, when um you are in a family that's never farmed before and then you decide to become a farmer yes but it's a series on my channel right now i know i saw so, i saw it did you watch the intro to see like what it was about no tell me so in that series for people who don't know it's about where i, know, I already did sound. this field get out of here i was seeing if it needed to be just done kidding. <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we gotta go to planting go. Oh, yep. um, so if tell me if this sounds familiar. So basically, I said I got my money from Bitcoin, and I bought my own land, and I'm slowly building up my own farm as a first generation farmer. Okay. And for the people who may not figure that out, I kind of did base it off of Grant's life a little bit. So with that series, it's doing decent enough where I want to keep it. So solo series, I end up doing. I like doing those a little bit every now and then because it's keeping me from having to do the same thing over and over and over with multiplayer and plus with single player i can bust those out quicker than i can multiplayer what do you think about the current status of farm sim on youtube right now <laughs> uh, i want you to go first um well so when i first started doing videos i was paying a lot of attention to other channels 
I was watching other channels. I don't watch much YouTube right now because I've consumed all of my time with creating content. It seems to me, and when looking at um, YouTube trends, because I do visit that site every once in a while, that it, it's, I mean, and compared to other games, the, the audience is small for Farming Simulator, um, especially when you compare it to something like Minecraft or GTA. Yeah, it, it, it is a very small community, so it doesn't take much of a dip to feel it. To me, you, you look at when the game came out and the the pre COVID, from what I understand, release cycle was every two years. And then we got what, 19 to 22 was three years. And now it's looking like 22 to 25. I haven't heard anything. I don't know if they've made any comments about when another game's not. coming out. Um, they have not. But that to me is not encouraging. Like the games do do their cycle. And if the new game isn't different enough, will it even make a difference? There's going to be the dedicated fans no matter what, but is that enough to sustain a full-time job on YouTube? Is it enough to be able to take that extra leap? And that's why both of us have multiple channels um, because we don't want to put all our eggs in one basket, even though most of the eggs might be in one basket and less eggs in the other one, but that could switch at any time, right? Exactly. So my, my key thing about that is, of course, we have our Sega channels. Um... But I think only Happy, you and Happy are only the only ones who have sec uh, monetized second channels. The only reason your second channel is monetized is because it was monetized before your main, if I'm not mistaken. Well, yeah, I mean, the other channel was my main channel. It's, it is called yeah. Socks Way Up, which is my, you know, gaming handle. And that yeah, but I don't, I don't think, I think when started in 2020. I got monetized because I did the long grind of having 20 to 30 views a video and slowly getting subscribers and didn't implement any of the things that I've learned now that I'm going to be implementing because I am posting on that now. So, yeah, mm -hmm. but go ahead. Well, same with like, that second channel for me. Um, I'm finding it hard to re get people from Farmston to that second channel, but I do know when people actually start enjoying that second channel, they're really loving it. Uh, real quick, Noah, uh, my, my, my other channel is called Socks Way Up. It's a City Skylines channel. Nate has, uh, oh, forgive me. It's Peter Rhino Plus. Beer Rhino Plus, and last I heard, it's going to be a lot of 5M GTA online, not online, RP so content, it's but going mi to be, mixtures of games as well. Go ahead. It's going to be a good mixture of games. There's going to be the occasional GTA 5 uh, RP on there, but not a whole lot of it right now. Um, I've kind of stepped back from that realm a good bit uh, because I don't see it worth it. I would rather just play like Arc Ascended or play video games with other people that's going to be fun every now and then and see if I can make that into a channel because I feel like that would have a lot more long standing than say farm sim only but it's just getting those views to begin with and keeping those subscribers I thought that is what's going to be the kicker I think farm sim is not in the best place it could be I do think it could be in a better place but I don't think it's in the worst place it's been yeah and, and I'm new so I don't know but go ahead, go ahead, keep going. Well, the reason I say that is because we're still getting subscribers every day. We're still getting a lot more subscribers than most other content creators, most other farm content creators out there. It's because we're pushing that envelope like the squad, like Austin Farmer, like the pickle. We're, we're putting, we're pushing that envelope. So we're just, we're also in a market where a lot of people are doing RP. It's, yep. We need to focus a little bit on keeping our RP interesting and different from the others enough to make sure we're consistently putting out great content and keep people wanting to come back. But also just understanding there's going to be times where just not it. <laughs> that people don't really want to watch Farming Simulator every single day of their lives. Like, trust me, I sat back and thought about that the other day is I would love to know who has watched my channel since the very first video went out on my channel. But I would love to meet somebody that actually did because I doubt there's hardly really any. Yeah, you're going to go through cycles of people, right? Exactly. It's just we got to catch one of those good cycles. Like, I think, and the reason I keep saying this like that is because no one can convince me Farm Sims in a bad place right now. If it was in like a really bad place, why is Grant getting 200,000 views per video almost? Right. Yeah. And we were talking about that off, you know, on just on Discord the other day is it was like, yeah, you go, you see Grant, he can inconsistently upload and still pull in those views. Exactly. So if he's in that kind of place, but 
it's also we got to sit back and say okay we can still we can get those views if we try hard enough we can get those views it's just we got to put out that content like grant now grant and how many really years hard. is and how many years has grant been doing it though how, how old is his, how old is the squad channel now i can't tell you the exact number um i'm not gonna say a number and look very stupid uh it's not doing that today um maybe i'm gonna guess eight comments. i'm gonna guess eight years yeah it's been a good amount of time I know he played 2000. I know, I know he played FS15. Taking that into account is like patience, patience and consistency. And that's why the content will still come out. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking this one of these days, Mr. Beast or like one of these other YouTubers that just are random games will jump on Farmstead one of these days and just do it. Does you that hurt I mean? or help us? I think it would help. It would add new people to the market to watch Farmstead. I haven't thought of it that way. So. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm experiencing that right now with the release of City Skylines 2 and the channels that don't do City Skylines that are huge channels that are like, hey, this is a new game. I'm going to I'm going to take advantage of the views on it because it just came out like half of the Hermitcraft guys are doing videos on it. Um, there's a couple other people that have millions of subscribers that do, you know, um, variety gaming. And, and so the, and my instinct is they're eating up the views for the content creators that want to make videos on this for a full-time channel. I haven't thought of it that way. That's a nice different twist of it. Their audience is gonna get introduced to a new game. That channel is probably gonna fade away and like, oh, it's not new anymore. I'm not gonna make videos on it anymore. I, I played it, I'm moving on to the next thing. The audience might not be ready to move on. So they, they're gonna then go look for other creators that are gonna consistently make those videos. Exactly, that's why, like, I'm, that's why I say what I said, because some simple as that could really change what we did. I mean, it really just really could change everything we're doing and really benefit us or it could really hurt us. I think it benefits us for people like people are always are going to want to watch Farm Sim because Farm Sim is just like the only game out here like this that you're able to do this type of farming. Like I've always said, I would love to see a hybrid between Farm Sim and ATS. <laughs> could you imagine that big of a game? I would hate to have to run that on a server, but I think that would be an awesome game. It would be. It would be sweet to have like the ability to have an open world that's not just a single map as well. So mm -hmm. where you could have multiple um, cities and counties that like there's a shortage or I'm, I'm wanting to, I need sugar cane, but I live in Montana. I can't make sugar cane in Montana. I screwed up on Whiskey RP. I shouldn't have done that. But then it would be nice to be able to, I mean, you have the ability to like buy things and mods help you with that, but it would be really sweet to be like, I'm gonna go for a simulated eight hour drive to somewhere where I can get this product, pick it up, drive it back, because you wanna change a pace. Or could you imagine moving all of your farming equipment from one state to another state? Like having like, to physically drive it that many hours? But yeah, yeah, like, and I, I've, uh, yeah, getting into, okay, so Whiskey RP tomorrow, a little spoiler, is is moving to, to Heaton County. It's, um, but it's going to be both, and I'm going to be simulating that in that series. And I bought American Trucking Simulator to do that, and I didn't do it in the video because I didn't have enough time to actually do it right. Um, I got the Montana DLC. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't made it to Ohio yet. Not Ohio, they haven't made it to Iowa yet. So I couldn't like physically drive in Ohio or Iowa. Yeah. I keep saying that, geez. Um, so I wanted to do it that way. And I kind of lost my motivation because it was just like, yeah, I could I could drive around some highways on Montana and show that. But then the destination. So this is where you should text me. There's a there is a mod out there that makes it where you can go to Iowa. Ah, see, and I and I didn't have time. <laughs> I didn't have time because it looks like crap. I don't have any of the shaders. I don't have any of the mods that improve some of the quality of it. I, I could have sent it, you all that butter. I know. To you I know. <laughs> like that was, uh, yeah, I know. I could have done that. Uh, no. No. So yeah, I, no. There's a coast to coast mod on that map where you can actually go from, you can actually drive, say, from all the way from Florida. You can actually go from Florida all the way up to the top of Alaska. JMR asked Any complaints about City Skylines 2? Should they have held off another six months for QA testing? And why do you think gaming companies just pump out unfinished games instead of completing it? So I personally have stayed away from the affiliation with Colossal Order because I am beyond frustrated with the way that they release video games. I think City Skylines is probably my favorite video game of all time, but the people that know the game and know what's going on 
Um, it was supposed to be for PC con and console. Console has been delayed till next year. I don't even know if they've released a date for it yet, but they, instead of delaying the PC release because of the way they were publicizing it, they still released it. Day one, if you follow Twitter, everyone was ripping the game. The recommendation from the creator of the game was to decrease pretty much every single default graphic setting to get the game to actually perform well on a PC that was built to run a ridiculous amount of City Skylines 1 mods. The new game was supposed to be more efficient, not base game less efficient than the old game. So that being said, there's a part of me that wants to say it's flat out trash, but it's not. There is a level of detail to that game that if you aren't paying attention to actually managing a city, you're going to fail. And it's and it's what I wanted in the game. But and Nate, I think you can jump on the second half of this question is why do why do these game companies do this? And as a software developer, I'll tell you why they do it, because they can. When the whole mm -hmm. idea of uh, in software development, you call it agile development, you can call it um, iterative development. It became a popular thing and you release what you can release and then you go to the next sprint or whatever cycle that they call it at that company and then you release what you can release the next two weeks the next two weeks the next two weeks why Four. video games why video games adapted to this i'll never know because mario super mario brothers those games didn't have bugs exactly so here's the issue like with this then i will call farm some out on this because i'm not a partner so i can get away with this so take the major bug with multiplayer we've all dealt with the major issues with multiplayer have you ever like built like did a lot of terraforming on land and put down a fence afterwards after terraforming yes have you dealt with those issues of the fence just going through the ground fence going through the ground and then the game not allowing me to delete the fence well my favorite is it goes skyrocketing up because you do a you you completely flatten an entire ma uh, mountain um Ask me how I know that, or ask Happy how we know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say this one as they, and I know people say, oh, you're biased to Grant, but I am biased to Grant because I've seen how he's doing it. Every bug that comes up in his game, I mean, everybody knows I'm a tester, so I can't say this. Every bug that comes up in his game, he's fixing it. He's not letting it sit there. Even if it's a minor bug, like there's been minor bugs, I'm like, that's not really worth fixing. He still fixes those bugs because he don't want that. He wants something the quality of that and well that's not common nowadays we can go even a step further in that is bias aside we talked last i think it was last podcast about why why does farming simulator get away with this because they have new competition same thing with city skylines there's other city builders they are nowhere close to as good as city skylines they have no competition so these companies can say Oh man, there's some other things about City Skylines too I want to get into, but I need to confirm first. Um, <laughs> so they don't have competition, so they can bust this out, they can release it, people will be mad, and then when they patch it and they fix it, they may or may not come back, but they already bought it. And unfortunately, that's the way these studios look at it. I guarantee you it's a mixed bag of business people that just want to make money and a mixed bag of people that absolutely love the idea of creating video games that people will love to play. And there's not enough of those people in those companies making the right decisions. Sounds like Grant is leaning towards the, I want people to enjoy my game and have a bug free experience and actually get to play it and not be frustrated with it. And if that is pulled off and eventually goes to PC long term, that's when the game changes for Farming Simulator, in my opinion. Well, I, I can say <sighs> this right now. So you know how you were complaining about City Skylines 2's graphics? Yeah. So uh, Ark Survival Ascended, for what I heard, recommended graphics card was a 3080. They don't recommend that for City Skylines, but if you have a 3080, you're going to be... Able, you're, you would actually be able to play on the on the default settings. But I will say this. It was funny, less than 24 hours later for Arc Ascended, they had a fix come out where you were, it fixed all the memory leaks, everything like that. So, and that's the, that's the double-edged sword of it is, um, they can why, patch fast. Why, why would you sit there and put some out and say, oh, we recommend having this. And then less than 24 hours later, double back on yourself. No, if you were going to do it, commit. That's the way I viewed it. Well, you but also, or you shouldn't have just put it out like that. They think about these DLCs, and when you play a game that feels incomplete, and then all of a sudden a DLC is added that that completes part of the game that was missing. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, greed is the only reason. Greed and profit is the only reason why that's not part of base game. 
and it's a business, so you can't really blame them. <laughs> like, no, like, we understand that they have to make money, but just how they have to make money, we have to have a sound game to make content on so they can make money. Like, it, this is one thing people don't realize nowadays. I hate this back, back then is people wonder why games made so less of money compared to nowadays. It's because nowadays you have content creators, you have people out here pushing their brand for free. We give them the best chance to succeed, and when we as content creators have rigs and have stuff that is made to make this stuff work halfway decent and our stuff isn't even working, yeah. there's an issue. That's why I was frustrated. Like I said, this PC was specifically built for City Skylines 1 and to be able to run the ridiculous amount of mods that I was running, which was exploiting the game, like not exploiting the game, but it was very well known that you shouldn't do that. And you can't get mad at the creators for the game not performing when 99% of what you're doing is all modded. The, the thing you can get mad about is why isn't some of this stuff that every single person that plays it has as default uh, mods like why why is there mod essential videos when they're not part of the games you can get mad about that part you can't get mad about the game not performing when somebody that doesn't work for the game studio wrote a mod and caused the performance to get damaged but that being said i over spent on what i needed so that that would run smooth and be able to record and at the time i was recording I was able to record in 4, 2K mm -hmm. and I couldn't I couldn't even record in 1080p the first day it came out. I had to lower it down to get the game to run and OBS and I was like, do I need to get my old computer out now that's outdated to just record on, which I still might do that and have a two PC setup, but you shouldn't really have to. Yeah, I've never played City Skylines. I have a really good video idea, by the way, if you ever want to hear it. But yeah, no, game developers are just not want to do their job correctly. We have this thing in our chats where we don't talk bad about modders. We can't blame the developers. The developers are doing the best they can, and I guarantee you in at Giant Studio and at Colossal Order, there are game developers that are saying, you guys are ridiculous for not delaying this release and not letting us fix these bugs and not letting us get this ready for the public. I guarantee sure. you that yeah I'll, I'll give you that starting so. a new multiplayer server and how do you think that will affect our channels oh starting a new multi so you, you want to get into what we're doing i do i think that will affect in a positive way the way that i recorded last night and the way that it felt after i got done recording um it felt very the squad way and i don't know if that was a great thing or a good thing well, I mean, if the options are greater good, I think we're in a good place. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's only greater good. I'm hoping those are my only two options. But I don't know if it's going to be what people want to see out of my channel. I definitely hope it's going to be something people want to see. But I think it should help us out a lot. It's yeah, what me... people have been asking for. Because you looked at that community post I put out, right? I did. Yep. And was this what we started last night? Was it not exactly what 90% of people were asking for? It is. It's 90%. And it's, and I think the, the other like 10% of the people will be satisfied by the little bit of the old stuff that's still there. Exactly. We're still going to do like, you can't have a series where you don't have RP in it like we do. Like that's, you got to have good RP. Well, at some point you, you don't even have to call it RP. It, there's a storyline. I think people are going to be impressed by the amount of people in it. That's the big thing to me. And I think that is, I think that's what's going to make it so enjoyable is the ability to interact with different people every video. If so one chooses many people. To. Yep. So how There's, many do we have right now? As of right now, the acting count is 10 people, but I believe there's 11. I'm waiting on one more person to confirm something. But after that, yeah. Yeah. So, so for what, what I saw, it was 11, but it's one of those like, will that stick how long will it stick yeah. and yeah but no matter what as of right now there is a solid confirmed nine people yep. but we do most like i have 10 or 11. we well we have 10. 10 people have been inside that server already which is the so, most i've that's the most i've been on a server with and it was it was pretty sweet exactly it was really nice i mean the way we started the server too was very nice and having everybody there we were all on the same page i know you were probably a little surprised how we did it last night we actually let everybody have their own say and go with it it was i'm really excited for the series yeah and it's it's yeah it's, it's so it's not a single farm there's not a single um no m main farm you can kind of say there is but there isn't um 
Well, if that you, was the it, fun part is we didn't expect this many people, so it was going to be a single farm. We were not yeah, expecting and, this. And then it grew, and it, and it made sense for it to not be. And yeah. to me, that's the exciting part is, so Alex, who's always in both of our streams, is part of it, and he's teaming up with Bri. I'm giving some spoilers. I, I apologize. Mm -hmm. But th they're building a farm together. They're going to be interacting with each other every episode, but they're going to be interacting with the rest of us that aren't you know on that same farm borrowing equipment uh helping out maybe selling some extra product that you have because they need it to feed you know chickens um and or pigs, the, yeah, or pigs. No. the thing that that i'm kind of focused on is i've always i've always wanted to see if the farming simulator community could have something like the multiplayer the smps on minecraft and would it work where you can do I, I like at any given time the there could be it. it is the proof of concept i can do an episode where it's just me and then the next episode might be a hundred percent interactive with people and then the next episode will be a mix and it allows us to move at our own pace but also still interact with each other still get along with each other or hang out with each other and and still create content together mm -hmm. help each other's channels out get more people in that we want to help channels out and it's I, it's going to be fun but the big difference is, is there's a reason to go watch every person's channel. That is the big kicker. And that's something that not a whole lot of farm sim does is that there's going to be that reason for people to go watch your channel, my channel, Happy's channel, Chris's, I mean, it, um, Bri's channel, Alex's. There's going to be that good reason. Master Farmers, just a few name drops. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's going to be sweet. And, and one of the things that like we need to do as a group is make sure we have an easy copy and paste list of uh all the channels so we can just drop those in our descriptions and and just really build a a community feel to it is what we want and it's even even if like we're not interacting every episode we are interacting by helping each other's channels and also so building something that's a proof of concept that i hope i really hope sticks and i really hope is around for a long time and might be able to counteract some of that dip decrease that we're seeing. we're seeing yep if this version works especially the story built behind it like that's the big key difference between grant's county line and ours is grant's county line didn't have no story behind it we have a huge story behind it and will affect the way everybody plays together and does things yeah yeah it's gonna be interesting so i can see arguments getting out with people like quote unquote I, it, it should be fun uh just interrupt real quick cod farmer pro uh, 60 series is kind of somewhat on hold um i know i plan on getting back into it happy does grant had uh harvest season in real life yep so it, it you know priorities real life crops will go bad right you can't just pause it um so that that caused a, a little bit of a delay on that um it should be coming back i mean things things will ha things happen and it may not but it should be um and then i'm about to say i know i've recorded personally myself i've recorded two episodes of it already happy actually had the same was in the same boat when happy and i would normally would record he's been going back uh to because he's in college right now but he's been going back to help his family with their harvest so it's it just you know playing farm simulator we're interacting with a lot of real farmers and that gets in the way and it, yeah. rightfully so well i do think that we're actually slowly progressing enough to where we are actually getting close to getting ready to progress far enough where we can start doing more on that server trust me you'll want to yeah there, there's stuff now to do in that server happy and i have some cool plans for for happy's farm on that series too that i hope we pull off and i don't want to i don't want to spoil it <laughs> I was about to say, we don't want to spoil too much no this is just supposed to be for fun but yeah what else is there the only other I topic mean... was uh talk about new strategies that you're gonna do be implementing that was an idea to talk about i don't know if you had anything you wanted to talk about on that i'm interested to hear what your plans are basically i've modeled myself after the former pickle for a while i don't think that's what people want to see anymore because i'm even watching jake's views go down but yet i'm watching like bucks and grants and austin views go up you're Pick talking about on. the uh really quick meme meme a lot of memes and quick movement yep so what i'm doing is i'm actually slowing down pace yeah and i i actually got my favorite comment now the the, the first favorite comment was the whole family watching on a tv my new favorite con comment was 
that I remind them of Daggerwin and I think it was Peanut, but faster paced. When you get a comment that confirms exactly what you're attempting to do in B, gosh, that feels good. And so it sounds like you're leaning a little bit towards what I've been doing with Doing the, doing the farming. Honestly, like the biggest thing that I noticed views changed for me was when I have a cadence to my voice where I like to pause a lot and, and I'm thinking as I'm talking. But when I edit that out of the videos, it sounds like I know what I'm talking about. It sounds like I'm not thinking as I'm talking and it yeah. just sounds more confident and it just flows better. And that doesn't mean that it's super fast pace. It just means it's not slow and dragged out and, and there's a there's a middle ground. And that's what I was aiming for. Mm -hmm. Like, are you going to be adding in more time lapses slash montages? Maybe um, I've been adding some here and there in solo. So in solo series, I've slowed down a little bit uh, because it's not it's harder to speed up really hard but i think in multiplayer it's going to add a little bit different of an effect and we're going to more like what the, when the channel first started the way it felt when it first started i'm excited for that like i, I and you guys kind of made fun of me that i uh fanboyed your community poll but the, the reason <laughs> the reason why i fanboyed it is because i my instincts knew what the community's feedback was going to be and i i want i want to see it i want to see what happens when when that transition happens well, yeah, same here. I mean, we all have what we want to see. Like, I knew what they were saying is what they actually wanted to see because it's only that. But also, I do know most of my community was built off of Family RP because Family RP was a phenomenal series. That was a great proof of concept series that did really well because name somebody else that's gotten that many people together and has done that kind of role play. Yeah. And, and on top of that, having like, the drama we had. Yeah, and both of us have had comments made to us about like how how are you growing this fast? It's unheard of. Um, are you I, I, like basically? I, I've been asked if I I pay for views, and I was like, no. I've done my research, and I know that that'll actually negatively <laughs> impact yeah, your channel. Yeah. It actually is. It, it actually is counterintuitive to pay for views because of the way the algorithm works. You have to grow naturally. I got lucky. Nate taught me a lot of stuff and I got lucky. I was about to say, um, it was like what I asked you the other day. I said, do you ever regret me joining your Discord server and, and talking to you? Absolutely not. Because, I mean, just think about like this stuff. Because I'll say this, without you, Chris, you wouldn't have, you changed the way that Family RP Season 1 went. Like, and that's one thing that we can all agree about is, at least for me, I don't know about you, but I can say Family RP what made my channel and it helped grow me and it helped make me learn some things. And I think this next series that we're currently working on, working on right now, is going to do it nice. Congratulations on the hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. Go buy yourself a burger. I, did, I have the the <laughs> HUD off. I just saw it and like I'm flying above you watching you and I just saw it and I was like, I'm going to go grab that. Yeah, no. And I, I agree. Like without Family RP, I wouldn't have gotten the jump start I did to for the algorithm to push my cattle ranch videos and my whiskey rp videos the way they are and that's stuff that like you can't you can't forget you can't ignore no you have to know where your where your roots came from like i know my roots came from family rp so i know there's gonna be a part of my community that always wants the family rp videos and i know there's gonna be a lot of people not happy with me after this next video but that's what it is. <laughs> i can't i can't believe he went through a midlife crisis after that divorce was waiting for that and he bought those two trucks <laughs> <laughs> well, hey no you gotta call me out like that oh. absolutely no i no no that's a, that was a comment i read um and then the other one and i want nate's opinion on this too like russell saying that there's a lot that we could not cut out of our videos and where i agree there is a lot that we can't that we could not cut out like we could keep a lot more content in our videos the problem yeah, both of us saw don't wanna, you don't want to drag it out right you, and the problem we saw we went we had like these we have like these rules and these guidelines they're 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 like bumpers at at the bowling alley when you're not good at bowling right they're not necessarily mm -hmm. you have to use them or you but we were aiming for eight to ten eleven minutes per video yep when both of us were doing that our channel was growing at its peak both of us at the same time we didn't even talk about it nate brought it up and he was like hey i'm gonna start doing longer videos i'm gonna start doing longer videos because i don't even remember the reason but at the same time 
I just got done editing a solo series where I was making the videos twice as long. And we both made this transition at the same time. And because we both saw it necessary at the same time. <laughs> we did. And the comments were saying, I love this series. I love these videos, but could they please be a little bit longer? Could they be a little bit longer? And, and this kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier, where I appreciate every single viewer and you're not wrong. You want longer content. That's what you want. The problem is majority of the people don't seem to. And both of us noticed a dip when that happened, where me personally, I would love to do 20 to 25 minute videos for every video. But they don't they don't get the same pool. And at some point, there's like a, a 45, 55 pool of doing this for fun and trying to do it as a business in a career long term. And you got to go with what the numbers say. Well, I also am a firm believer. What's stopping you from every now and then throwing in a video that's 25 minutes? Like, you can still do videos that are 8, 10 minutes long and do it at a decent rate. Not do too fast, but have a good amount of content going through it. But also have, like, 25, 30 minute videos that are just, like, really nice, good quality videos. In my opinion, there's nothing stopping that. And you can have a good little mixture. It's just finding that happy medium for that mixture. That's going to be your key. On yeah, I had it times a, a week. And I, I don't remember who it was, and I wish I did, but last stream that I had, one I, this same topic kind of came up, and I was talking about it on my stream. And one of the suggestions was, well, what if you did a tw you know the 25-minute video, split it in half, and release two a day, did one in the morning and one in the afternoon? I don't know how the algorithm would appreciate that or how it would work, but it was something that I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So the people that want more content get more content, and then you don't get the negative impact because of the longer. I don't know. It's just like it's such a game and it changes every day. Yeah, I mean, that that's that's part of it, though, is we got to play our numbers. We got to play them right. I mean, it was uh, it was Grant who we were ta I was talking to the other day. I said, well, there's ain't no such thing as a viral video anymore on FarmSim, but we can still get at least our views every single day. If we're getting our views up we're doing our job correctly. We may not yeah. be able to hit those viral videos that give us those boosts at one time, but we can work on ourselves and make our content better where we're constantly getting more and more views. And what's our what's the threshold where you're considering something viral? <sighs> Million views, or uh, my bad, yeah. Well, okay, so for all like our size channel, it, it, so it's hard to say. So like for farm sim technically viral is like a million half a million to a million views or if you don't count mega cuts yeah because mega yeah, cuts I, are meant to bring in a lot of views yeah and i didn't like that's still shocking to me but yeah i would i would say if an individual video a single video uh, even if it's like episode one of a series hit like for me twenty thousand views right now i would be jumping bouncing off the walls yeah and same here. There but was a time I guess don't do that. We'll, we'll right. Be fine. Right. There was a time when I thought that that's where I was tracking towards because it was it was tracking towards that. And then it and then it didn't. And it's 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 such a learning experience and it's fun. It's like I don't want to sound like I'm complaining about it. It's it's a blast. But I wouldn't be hit, doing this. It, it does hit mentally a little bit. I will say it that. does mess with your it does mess with your ego. It messes with your ego and makes you second guess every little thing you do every single um decision you make and the twists and turns of it all it makes you question things exactly but you wouldn't be human if you didn't if you didn't question those little details here and there it, you just wouldn't you wouldn't be human but i'm pretty much want to say what uh is, is that it i think that's it the only the only thing and i like this comment from noah because Nate's gonna hate me for this. I completely agree. The only complaint with Family RP was I wish we could see more of the finances. Listen, okay, everybody. <laughs> Listen, I know everybody wants to see more of the finances. Okay, it's difficult to do the finances. Okay, especially for something that was not meant to be so big. Like that series was not meant to be as it was. Like we even tripped up ourselves. I think it, I, I think I mentioned it to you. But did you know when Family RP first started episode one, I said we only owed $3 million, even though we ended up paying $5 million? 
Yes. Yep. Yep. And yep. I didn't know that until the final episode. I'm like, you're telling me I had the dead pit all done? This is ridiculous. I had that yeah. pit off by episode three. The I other mean, episode by uh, the 18. The other thing about it was like I got um, I got a comment like in the middle, like towards the end of season one, that that made a comment about the the money and made a comment about the farming, and my response was. I don't think this series is really about the money. I don't think it's really about. No, it was. It was about the, the enjoyment and the fun along the way. That was supposed to be the whole key about it. Is it was legitimately. So when that series first started, it was me, my old editor, and Bri. That's all it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be fun. And the thing about what it ended up like, the ending of season that season, because I've already said it ended at it's ending at twenty episodes. The thing about what it turned into at the end of the day was mind-boggling to me. It, yeah, just the fun we get, though. Yeah, and, and like to me, it was like this. You know, it started as as the what was it? It was it was wife, husband, and, and son move away, and then the way the way we pulled it off was some other family members followed along slowly and gosh wait till you oh, I don't know how Isaac edited it but I really hope that's in at the end man uh yeah well I don't it's not been edited yet um so this was a kicker I gotta say this uh so you know how I did all the editing well what was the last video I recorded the last family. video oh family RP video yeah that was the last video I recorded before I left on vacation yeah Guess what? We didn't get uploaded to the Google Drive before I went on vacation. Oh, <laughs> so it hasn't come out yet because of that. I was wondering why. Yeah, no, that's part of the reason it didn't go out today. That's it's it funny. Was, yeah, it just got uploaded to the Google Drive last night, actually. Um, <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, because Isaac was like, where's this video out? I'm missing it. I'm like, what do you mean? You should have it. No, it was it was sitting on my computer at the house, and there was no way for me to upload it. It's like, well, no, we just going to delay that video. Trust me, everybody, it is going to be worth the wait. I think when Isaac's done, it's going to be well worth the wait. And by yep. the way, thank you to everybody that's been a part of the stream that said happy birthday to me. I appreciate everybody, and all the love and support y'all given. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so very much for the love and support y'all give me and the channel, my guys and girls. Also, a huge thank you for all the happy birthdays. It has mean the most to me. Um, no, I don't look good in this character, but we're going to do it anyway. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all are the best community out here. I could not ask for anything better other than the Rhino Crash community. All 30 people for watching. I have not been watching the numbers this entire time because it's not been important to me. And thank y'all for all 71 likes on the video. If you haven't yet, hit the like button and subscribe. But guys and girls, with no further ado, this has been the Rhino Crash community. Thank y'all guys and girls. We'll see you next time. Peace!